Today is a how to set up audio events for the four main switches on an RC plane. The four main switches we're going to configure is the landing gear, high, medium, and low rates, flaps, and throttle cut. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is go into audio events. Push enter, scroll down, audio events, and then we go into switch changes. Push enter, add new sound event. We'll start with the throttle cut, which I put that on switch H. And then we'll just toggle the switch and shows position zero, position one. This is a two position switch. If you're setting up a three position switch, it will automatically pull up position zero, one and two. So we'll go in here. We want away from us to be motor on and towards us to be motor off. So position zero, which is away from us. You see, we got our menu here. We'll scroll down. Till we get to motor on and you can also set it up as throttle cut off and throttle cut on you know you've got some other variations I stopped on this one motors armed so that could be your motor on call out but here's the ones I'm going to use motor on and motor off so now that we've clicked that let's go to position one and then we're going to add motor off scrolling down motor off and something to notice on the right side here since it'll start off at silence at the top is when you scroll down you can look over here and see where that bar stops because then you know where you're at on the menu for example on the last one when we did motor on it stopped about that same spot so we could keep scrolling the wheel and go to that position and we're no know we're close to using the opposite of what we're previously used go up top and now our switch will be active with voice alerts motor off motor on motor off motor on okay so now that we've got that one set let's go in and do a three position switch let's do the flaps next go to switch toggle the switch now it's assigned Go to position zero. I'm going to put this as flaps up. Let's scroll down. It looks like this one's going to be near the bottom. So we got flaps up, and you can see on that side menu there, briefly, on this little graph over here, it was down here towards the bottom, about right there. So I can just keep scrolling my wheel instead of searching for it, because it's going to be in the same position. So let's scroll all the way down. And there we go. So this is going to be take off flaps in position two we're going to do the same thing keep scrolling down on the side wheel and watching that graph that little bar go down the side there now we'll click landing flaps now we've got our flap set up for flaps up take off flaps and landing flaps Now we can add the gear, go into switch, push enter, toggle A, go down to position zero, that's going to be gear down, position one is going to be gear up.
There we go. So now we've got our gear up and down set. Last one to set up is our low, medium, and high rate. When you're setting up low, medium, and high rates, you can set up the rate switches for different ones, meaning if you want ailerons and your elevator to be on a different rate switch, you can use these switches for different ones. So let's say on this one, I want my aileron to be over here, I want my elevator to be here, and I want my rudder to be here. Then you can set those up. What you do is just set them up individually. When you go down here, you would set up switch B for aileron, switch C for elevator, and then switch F for rudder. So you would just set it up with multiple switches the way I'm about to do all three rates just on this one switch. You would just set it up multiple times. So let's go down to add new event. Switch. I'm going to toggle B. I'm going to position. And you've got high rates. Position one, that's going to be our mid rates. And position two is going to be our low rates. So now we've got our low, mid, and high rates set up on switch B. As I mentioned, the way you can set it up is on the other switches. So I'm going to do one additional one just so you can see how that works. So we'll go to switch, push enter, and we're going to do C this time. Position zero. It's going to be our high rates again. Position one is medium rates position two is low rates so now we'll hear a call out for low mid and high rates on B and C and then when you have it set up in the dual rate expo screen for these to control different rates that's what determines what rates the switch are controlling is in the dual rate and expo in this menu all we're doing is labeling the switches so that they'll call out low, medium, and high rates. For example, if we have this one on elevator and this one on aileron, when we switch this, it'll say low, medium, and high. When we switch this one, it'll say low, medium, high. But in the dual rate and expo, that's what actually makes it to assign it to the rates for the particular control service we're using. So here we go with those two set up on low, mid, and high rates. And as you add them down the line, it's going to keep track of them in there so you can see what you added. And to go in and edit, all you do is just click on the one you want and then go back in and edit to a different saying. Or if you want to change the switch, you can do that as well. Now we finished setting up our four main audio events. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and push the like button. If you want to watch future videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.